Hi y'all, this is Pam again with Mason Lance Designs, and I'm going to start a little video series on Zoom Notes. Um, Rebecca Bennett on YouTube has done a, an amazing job and has done lots of videos on Zoom Notes. And she goes into details on the settings and the different settings that you know you need to change to be able to make Zoom Notes the best for you. So if you want to look, you know, look up her videos, her name is Rebecca Bennett. But for me, Zoom Notes has been such an amazing, um, comprehensive app. I've been thinking for a little bit on how to make the videos without them being maybe too much information at one time or overwhelming. I'm not sure if I'm going to be successful, but I'm going to try by making the videos like in short segments or uh, try to do maybe one tool or feature at a time so that you can go back and, you know, oh, I want to look at that, you know, feature again and so you can just go back to that one video. Um, I've been afraid of Zoom Notes for quite some time. It was just a little overwhelming because it was so different from, you know, Good Notes 4 and 5, all the other note-taking apps and stuff. But for me, the effort has been so worth it. I think um, it combines a lot of the features from Good Notes, Procreate, and Keynote, you know, all in one app. So there's no more moving stuff, you know, from Procreate or you know, Keynote into GoodNotes. You can kind of do a lot of it right here in Zoom Notes. Okay, so let's get started. Right here on the left of the screen, um, let me see if I, yeah, right here at the left of the screen, you see this like greenish square. Okay, this is the first tool I'm going to talk about, and it's the, um, <coughs> excuse me, it's the color palettes. And this has been, um, probably one of my top favorite features of GoodNotes. Okay, so um, in order to open it, you just click this, the colored square, and then you click the arrow again to open it up completely. Um, there's other ways that you can access this color palette that we'll go over, you know, when we do some of the other features. I'll come back to that and, and you know, let you know. Um, up here is how you can um, create a new color palette. There's no way of uh, just creating one from scratch okay but there is a way that you can uh, hold down and press and just kind of bring it over here like this and it deletes them and then you just want to leave the top color at first <clears throat> so that you can um, put in new colors but this is probably like I said one of my top features of zoom notes okay so we got that ready but up here at the top it says names and you see the third one down, it says the May sticker set. So those were the colors that's in our May sticker set. And right here, this one, I'm going to do the, uh, the spring sticker set colors. Okay, so that I kind of, I'm fixing to show you how to do that. And then when you press this edit button, you can either delete, um, a set or you can move them to the top. So if these are the ones that, you know, you're using right now, you can have it up there at the top and it's easier to, to access and get to. Okay, let's move this one back down here at the bottom. And, and down here um, where these little tabs are at the bottom, okay, you have a mixer. And I'm honestly, I'm not sure um, how all these work other than it just changes the different um, hues and, and colors and shades. Um, but basically I just use this color palette and then up here at the top, uh, as you see it's uh, colored in is the color picker. Okay. And this is pretty much what I use. No more having to key in hex codes or, you know, in my good notes I had, um, in the writing tool and the highlighting tool, I just had a bunch of different, um, colors that, it was hard to organize because there was no like system. It was just a bunch of squares and colors. Um, and so this way you can organize your palettes, you know, and even name them. So you know which palette is, you know, for which planner or which color set. Okay. So, um, and down here at the bottom again, okay. You have to make sure it's on the palette to, in order to do this. So you come up here and you click on the color picker. And I come over here and I tap on this and you see how it picks up that color. Okay, so I come back over 
and bring this back out and I come at the bottom, I move it back to mixer and it didn't do it. <laughs> I'm very sorry about that. I'm not sure what happened. Let's try it again. Maybe because I held it down. And go back to mixer and you hold down on this bottom section. You see where that popped up? Oh, one second. I'm sorry. It, uh, <laughs> I mixed up where I was. I'm sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> so I come over here and I grab the color from right down here at the bottom and I just bring it over here. So I move it at the bottom back to where it says palettes. And I click on the eyedropper again and come over here and click that blue. Pull it back out at the bottom, go to mixer, and then drag down here at the bottom, and I drag my color over. Go back to palettes, go to the eyedropper, and come over here and click on the green one. And for me, this has been a really easy way to add colors. Of course, there's ways, you know, over here you can, you know, the RGB you know, you can create your own colors, of course. I'm not overly creative that way. I would just rather use, um, you know, what's been in a set. I like to have, you know, my colors kind of the same. And so here I'm just finishing this up for us. Let me go back to palette, the eyedropper. And then here's the brown. <clears throat> And so I can take this blue and hold it and delete it. So now I have, sorry, move it up here to the top. So I have my May sticker set, the first one, and my spring sticker set. And you can, you know, create your own palettes using, you know, creating a color like, you know, moving this stuff around and creating your color. And then you can save it to a palette, just like I, I did, um, copy it with the eyedropper. Okay, you can create your own palette. And that's what I love more than anything, is the fact that you can organize these palettes. And so you know what colors go to what set. Um, I think that's about it for the uh, color palette section. There's a little square box right here, like I said, that you can access it. And I'll go over it for the pen tool and the text tool of how you can access it in the next video. Thank y'all for watching. Bye.